Hello. Shalom. Shalom. I miss anything good? Not yet. <laughs> Get the hell away from me, cat. Creature Codex. So, how's everybody's week? Uh, it was alright. Too much damn travel. <laughs> yeah, I kind of got gathered that. Jesus Christ, I won't spend more than the next three weeks. I will be home I will be home. five days, six days, six days. Wow. I'm assuming work is getting busy or something? Got it. Yeah, yeah the, it, it happens every Q1 every year. The, my, my customers are in need funds refill and everybody's running to run projects. So it's mad out for four months. Hey, having fun with the uh, <laughs> apparently, I'm not making a lot of the Skype either, so this is why I'm missing stuff. <sighs> so busy. I, uh, do you enjoy this type, time of year, or is it just like a hassle type? Oh, uh, it's it keeps. I mean, it's not boring. It's just it's starting to get old. I was kind of in a panic. I I uh, I needed to do laundry. If my dryer went out last week, I've been traveling, so I haven't been able to get my get uh, my son's truck to get a new dryer. Anyway, short story, I had to coordinate the Lowe's delivering a dryer today, and in between conference calls, and I had to fly out on Sunday again. So it's just a it's a goddamn mad scramble. At least you had a blast doing it. Hmm. Well, I had something. You had a time. <sighs> yeah, I got about 21 hours of overtime this week. Go. Uh huh. <laughs> and all the uh, subject matter experts are gone, so they all go, Oh, Tony's smart. He'll figure it out. <laughs> Did he? Yeah, do, do you do that or do you prove him wrong? Um, I occasionally try and prove him wrong. I actually uh, told my boss today I was going to stop working tickets if they didn't stop sending me completely useless, stupid tickets. <laughs> Good call. Well, I literally got a ticket. We have a a locomotive maintenance application that's installed across thousands of computers. And we had to migrate to a new version of Citrix. Well, by migrate, it's you blow up the old, you install the new, transfer all the users from one active directory group to another. And we have these kiosks, which are kind of like kiosks anywhere, except it only runs the icons that you provide the user. Of course, that also means when you're an admin trying to troubleshoot, it only runs the icons that you have provided the user. So you have no access to a command prompt, control panel, or settings of any kind. 
So your diagnostic procedure basically consists of reboot the kiosk uh, and go, yep, it's broke. Send them a new one. And we got a ticket today. So Wednesday night, we had a problem in East St. Louis with some user PCs. Get that fixed. Close ticket. Today, somebody reopened the ticket and it literally tells me that, and, and the only thing they put in the ticket was five kiosks are down in North Platte. And it's like, um, and I'm supposed to do what with this? Wait, the East St. Louis terminal told you something was down in where? North Platte, Nebraska? Nebraska, yeah. What the hell? Uh, well, yeah, exactly. East St. Louis actually had no issues. But our call support group basically gathered no user IDs, no computer information. Couldn't even give us a phone number. <laughs> That's like, yeah, I'm closing this ticket, and you guys are a bunch of idiots. Yeah, let me know when you figure it out. Yeah. And, and of course, habits. yeah, I sent that information to my boss going, you know what? If I get another ticket like this, I'm going to stop working tickets. I, I've been having something similar. <laughs> well, the funny part was, is the manager of the group that sent us the ticket called me on my way home today. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, going, well, you know, we've been having problems too. And I'm like, yeah. Send me another ticket like that. Please. <laughs> Tony said, bitch, please. Yeah. Help me out here. I've been uh, transferred over to the sales account setup team. Uh, the, the SASU team. For FedEx. And... <sighs> My biggest problem is the people, and that's all I have to deal with. <laughs> um, we have, there's uh, three different kinds of accounts that you can set up. There's technically more, but this is the only ones that really matter. Uh, is a parcel account, which is expressing grounds, a freight account, which is just flat out freight. And then enterprise account, which is parcel ground and freight. And I have every single message that I've been getting from these people is we want to set up an enterprise account. Thing is, you can't set up an enterprise account if an account is already, if it already has a freight account associated with the address. So if, if someone sends in, an enterprise account and a, wait, a request for an enterprise account and the person already has a freight, we can't do an enterprise because they already have freight on the account. So you can set up a parcel account, which is express a ground, but not freight. So we'll get message after message after message saying enterprise, 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 and I'll send every single one of them back a message saying, we can't set that up, but we can't set up a parcel. But yeah, that's what I said. I want a parcel account set up. No, it's it's not. <laughs> an enterprise account. You have to explain to them what they want. Yeah. Fucking users. <laughs> Fucking users. Fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a of energy. Uh, I've been running around today. Found out that I don't have to have surgery. 
So I'm kind of happy about that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yay, I don't have to be cut open. Uh, that was kind of a, you know how that is, like when you're waiting for something to find out, like, am I going to be cut open? I need to be worried about this. Why did you uh, think you needed surgery? Uh, I, I don't know if you guys remember, I said I hurt my finger about like two weeks ago. And I basically tore my tendon in my finger. So the question was, was it still attached? Or was it not attached? <laughs> and we found out today it's still attached. And I noticed that like, as we were going in, I was like, my finger feels a lot better than what it was before. So That's good. Yeah, so I, I'm still here. I had to wear a splint for like another month or so. At least you don't need surgery. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and I've been dealing with a student as well. Like, uh, and he he seems to be uh, uh, he wasn't properly diagnosed in school. So, how do I explain this? Like, he's supposed to be like a sped kid, but they never properly diagnosed him. They just kind of passed him along. Yeah. Exactly. So, now he, so now he's in college. <laughs> okay. Now, hang on a second there, because you're describing me. No, let me let me explain it like this. You should have never been in spin. This kid, it's like talking to a five-year-old. Like, I have to explain things over and over in simpler terms, and then he understands. He was never properly diagnosed. He seems to be one part arti- autistic, one part... Uh, uh, has some sort of uh, mental that doesn't quite grasp, like, cause level grammar type thing. He also has to see, he also has something wrong with his, like, uh, handwriting. So he has some sort of physical issues because he can't properly, like, write in between lines. Like, it's like three or four lines he has to, he takes to write, like, one letter. Or, are you my college professor? <laughs> no. Did we not? Did we meet and not realize it? No, trust me. You're in Arizona. I'm in Texas. And see, this conversation right here, we would, I can't have it. just this right here. So he wasn't he wasn't properly diagnosed. Like he, he has a little bit of everything, and they just kind of just just didn't properly do him. Like with you. You should have never been in. You should have just been in normal classes and just done whatever you needed to. I think you meet you meet Anthony had this conversation it's like, what the oh. fuck are you talking about? Yeah, all I know is you guys need to stop killing ducks to make duct tape. <laughs> what does sashimi have to say about all this? Sashimi? Yes. I mean yes. Hmm. Sashimi doesn't shit. Hey, all this big, smart-talking, educational stuff, all I need to know is Abraham Lincoln was the first president of the United States. Y'all can go fuck off. Yeah, I, uh, I know. I had this one in, in a class before. You ready for this? Mm-hmm. I didn't know George Washington led the British troops in the American Revolution. Hey. <laughs> Who didn't know that? Who doesn't know that? Come on. <laughs> I, was, I was like, are you serious? Yeah. I got a better one for you. Oh, go what? Friend of mine. Goes into the post office, uh-huh. mailing a letter to a friend of hers in New Mexico. Uh-huh. Where a woman working at the post office wants to know what type of international shipping she uh-huh. needs. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I've been getting something like that most of my life. My mother is from New Mexico. And then when I say that, people will look at me like, oh, you really don't look like you're from Mexico. And I said, I'm not. I said, my mother is from New Mexico. Uh, yeah. Said. Yeah, you don't really look Hispanic. I said, yeah, okay. Hmm. Hmm. If I have to explain it to you, then I'm not going to explain yeah, it. Yeah, like, and, and, like you, and you don't Darn look. millennials. You <laughs> <laughs> have kids. <laughs> Pay attention. Yeah, and I was surprised, too, that you didn't look absolutely retarded. Yeah. Here's a Tide Pod. <laughs> right, here's a Tide Pod. 
Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's, but that's been bugging me because I, like, want to help him. But, there, I can't help. only, it's like, no, it's one of those, like, I give him accommodations and, but he still can't keep up and it makes, I, I'm like, I'm like, I want to help you. But I'm, like, talking with the ADA people and they're like, this might be his max out zone is what they're saying. Like, he can't go any further. For, for like, you, Riley, I'm going, like, why aren't you? Big college type thing. Uh, money. Yeah, I mean, but like this, like, like intellect wise, you would have basically no problem at the BA level. I flunked math five times. Mm. I still feel like you probably do better at college than some <laughs> Well, I, I went to, I did go to college for two years. But I wasn't able to get my bachelor's degree because I flunked math two times. Huh. So math is math is somehow not your thing. Yeah. So we're all here, right? No. Uh, wait, wait. Hans is not. Who wants uh, to run? Yeah. Here for half an hour. Who, yeah, so we can start without Hans. I know that. We can wait to you. That's all that matters. I, I was just going to say, I'm here. What, what else are we waiting on? Um, well, I know the gnome's about to take up another potion. And then I think oh. we're all about to death recover. <laughs> that reminds me, we need to actually have a, a small discussion. Oh no. Um, um the items that are in the loot log, I need somebody to annotate where those items are stored. Uh, whether it's in the portable hole, bag of holding. Who's bag of holding? And oh yeah, uh, I need somebody to tell me where the newly acquired maps are being stored. Uh, is this like a library type, <laughs> or is it actually one book? They're bound. I, I'm glad that you just said that because I just saw that Wand of Cure Moderate Wounds is on Owl, and I didn't know that. Uh, I thought you, you wanted it, if I'm not mistaken. I may have gotten up for a second when that happened. And you may have got it because you're the cleric? Yeah. I mean, I can already cast your wounds. Yeah, but those are basically no spell slots, so I, I think that was the appeal. <laughs> and that was a relatively recent item. Yeah, uh, uh, did he equip the headband of intellect as well? No, I gave that to someone else. I gave it to Sashimi, yeah. Okay, so yeah. I guess that's the other thing we need to identify, uh, like, make sure we all have our items identified. I've been going in and adding mine as as we went along, but... Yeah, yeah. I did as well. We might want to double-check, because there's one more luck blade for anyone that, I know, that anyone that wants it. Yeah, there were three. I've got one short sword, and there are two others. Yeah, I got one as well. Yeah, I see that now. Yeah. I went and added that last time. And I threw... Oh, I gave Sashimi the... Oh, the robe. robe. Yeah, the robe. So we need to add, add that in there. I didn't... Was the robe an improvement for your armor? I, yep. I, okay, cool. Uh, What did you... You took off the ring 